I don't know if this next video is TOS. I don't think it is. Okay. The Legal Torture Chamber. McCammy Manor. This is educational. This is educational, chat. This is educational one last time. This is educational. We are watching this to learn. I don't want to go home. I beg. Please let me go I home. I want to see my mom. We Please. haven't even mom. began. Put your hand in there. Russ, it's like a movie. I do not go go Get in. 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 Get your hands down. Get your hands down. I'm gonna throw I back. quit, sir. I oh. quit. I oh. quit. I quit. A woman was being dragged from a vehicle, screaming as she was brought into a house where more shrieks of horror ensued. The cops were called, and they rushed to the scene. Upon arrival, they are perplexed to see that while this woman was indeed being tortured, she was doing it consensually. The man responsible for this was Russ McCamey, the owner of McCamey Manor. McCamey Manor is an extreme haunted house that prides itself on being an interactive horror experience. Never, never, never doing that. Buck out of here. I hate haunted houses to begin with. This ain't TOS. And now they're allowed to not only touch me, but they can genuinely hurt me. No. Many of the people that participate in this experience say it is closer to a simulated torture chamber. Please. I tried. No, please. I can't do this anymore. Please. Why did you sign up? I don't get that. Why did you sign? Yeah, they should let you out, but you, they probably have some sort of safe word. We'll see. Why did you sign up? I can't do, you walked in, read a contract, signed it, and then started getting tortured. Okay, I'm done. Well, uh, what? Participants of this experience are made to read aloud and sign a 40 page waiver agreeing- 40 pages? Yo, oh my God. Imagine you ain't read that shit. You just agree like a fucking terms of service. Participants fully understand and agree that they may be fish hooked, which may inadvertently cause rippage to the mouth area. Wow. Things such as being hit, bound and gagged, waterboarded, and force fed cockroaches, amongst many other. Force fed cockroaches! There are no quitting unless there's physical or psychological injuries present. Death is. Oh, they're not allowed to quit. Holy shit. Holy shit. They're not allowed to quit. Bro, but like, still, like, why are you going? Like, I'm just saying no. The second I read, I'm not allowed. There's no way out other than me having to finish it. No, I'm leaving. If they broke my teeth or some shit just for fun and I'm getting nothing out of it. In 2008, one participant even had a heart attack, but they did survive. Back when the attraction first began in San Diego, there was no option to leave once you entered. You were stuck in there until Russ decided you had enough. They don't even have a time limit! It's just when you've had enough. Oh my fucking god. So if you start retaliating, they're just gonna keep you there. That's genuine torture. That's genuine legal torture. Oh my god. You sign the contract. Okay, yeah, no, we gotta keep you here until I say you gotta leave. No fucking way. People from around the world come to Tennessee to experience this year round. According to McKamey, he has wow, a- in Tennessee, who would have guessed? And for the massive amount of people determined to go to McKamey Manor is the reward if he can make it to the end. Oh, see, there it is. Russ McKamey is offering a $20,000 prize to anyone who can make it to the end of McKamey Manor. Yo, 20K is not worth it. 20k is not worth it 20 grand that's it and i know a lot of y'all about to say 20 grand that's a lot of money bitch i'm gonna say that's it question mark to get tortured bro i thought it was a million 20 grand that's all you're shilling out you gotta torture them for fucking days days maybe weeks if you wanted to 20 grand no 
The only thing he asks for an entry fee is a bag of dog food. Yo, you you ain't even gotta pay? Well, I mean, it's his, he probably has fun doing it. He literally gets to torture you, and all you give him is a bag of dog food. And will never actually try to seriously harm anyone. But many people who visit McKamey Manor do not leave the same way they entered. Bro, imagine you go to McKamey Manor, you get tortured, and you then go home and leave a one-star review. They literally torture you. And all you can do is leave a bad Yelp rating. That's it. Not like, you can't sue them, right? Because you signed a contract. All you can do is say, I, you know, I had a pretty bad time. I, <laughs> you know, it wasn't that fun. I had a pretty rough time. I didn't enjoy it. They ripped a few of my teeth out. Like, that's all you can say. October rolled around, and Brotherton traveled out to finally experience the manor. The day she got there, McKamey found out about the online relationship. Yo, Next why is every damn pick of this motherfucker with this dog? Oh my god, doing the same damn cheese that the dog is doing. McKamey repeatedly told her, I don't believe in cheaters. According to Brotherton, this first impression of her made McKamey less careful about her safety. During the tour, she was waterboarded, teased, whipped, and blindfolded and submerged underwater until she started thrashing. At one point, she was told to dig a hole in the dirt outside and lay in it. They covered her face with dirt and gave her a straw to breathe through. A straw? Bitch, what is that, a makeshift snorkel? You're sitting there just... I don't know if you could even breathe well with a straw. How big is the straw? I mean, that's really what matters. Either way, why the fuck would anyone, like... They're like, oh, I'm looking for a haunted house. I stumbled upon this. It looks pretty cool. Did you not, like, read into, like, hey, we're actually going to torture you? And then they still did it. And then they enjoyed it? That's and not even thrill-seeking. That has to be some fetish. Am I wrong? If you're thrill-seeking and you go to a haunted house or, like, a roller coaster, that's whatever, right? Like, you're trying to get adrenaline. If you're genuinely enjoying someone hurting you and torturing you, that is not adrenaline. Like, that's past adrenaline. Like, that's a fantasy that you have. Maybe not sexual, but it's still some odd fantasy. She asked for water, but was refused. She finally had enough and uttered the safe phrase. But they didn't stop. They continued for several minutes after she repeated the safe phrase before stopping. I would sue the shit out of them. I would genuinely sue the living fuck out of them. I would sue, I would sue McKamey and his dumbass dog immediately. After the tour, she had to record an exit video, which is required of all guests. Bro, she don't even look like the same person after that! Be live from my hotel room after I just entered the McKamey Manor chamber. Wow. Um, as you can see by the way I look, my lips. Brotherton says McKamey said if she didn't say good things about the manor and told people what actually happened that night, then he would sue her for $50,000. He I just would sue her? How the fuck is he gonna sue her? I say Russ, Carol, Lindsay, Beth, Ryan, Mike, Christopher, Mr. Green, Mr. White, all of you so much that I love you dearly. And I so appreciate you allowing me this opportunity to get out what I needed to get out of this. After leaving the manor, she went to a hospital to have her wounds treated. She was put in a neck brace, had a hairline fracture in her foot, was covered in cuts and bruises all over her face and body, and the inside of her mouth was so cut up from all the fish hooking that she had to use medical mouthwash for a few days. Oh my god. She's gone to the police about this before but was told that because she signed the waiver, they have no legal case. It ain't no damn waiver. It's a 40-page contract. Bro, that's immediately how you... It ain't no, like, little fucking... Yo, you ever go to a haunted house, and it's like a little waiver, and it's, like, maybe 10 sentences. If you're walking into a haunted house, you're handed a 40-page stack... All talking about, hey, we're allowed to rip your, we're allowed to rip your teeth out, we're allowed to fish hook you, we're allowed to break your bones, and then you sign that. You can't really have legality, fucking shit against them, other than the fact that she said the safe word and they didn't stop. 
But I mean, that's just a he said, she said thing. I quit, Russ. Sir. Louder. I'm it's a verbal, it's a verbal agreement too. So I quit, man. sir. Louder. I quit. I Louder. quit. I quit. Louder. Amy Milligan but is I'm a great- I'm quitting in 10 minutes. I don't even know how she lasted six fucking hours. An example of what happens when people enter McKinney Manor without fully knowing what they're getting themselves into. It's oh, so they don't know. She didn't know. But bro, but like you're you're reading the contract. Are you are do they not let you say no to the contract? At that point, I'd be like, bro, I I it might be like, oh, she already traveled that whole way. Milligan seems to be having a good time at the beginning. <laughs> Keep laughing. I will. Oh, you will. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't talk shit. Yeah, that's a that's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. If I'm in this scenario, yes, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Sorry, sir. Bitch, I'ma be I'ma be the biggest cuck you have ever fucking seen in that scenario. I'ma be like, yeah, uh, whatever you say, ma'am. Whatever you say, sir. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, compliance. I'ma be agreeing. You finna be their bitch? Yeah, and I'ma survive. I'm finna be their bitch, and I'ma live through that. And you're not. So you're a bitch in that scenario. Dude, you literally signed a contract that they can do whatever you want to you. Whatever they want to you. You fighting back is the dumbest thing you could possibly fucking do. They can literally do whatever they want legally to you. And if you fight back, they can sue you. Be their bitch. Yes. At that point, that's what I'm going to do. And then you're going to be getting fish hooked. I'm going to be there fucking serving him tea. I'm going to be going, here you go, sir. Here you go. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, Get your hands down. Sorry. Get your hands down. Start singing now. I mean, that's not that bad. I'll give credit where it's due, though. McKinley did stop at times to make sure she was physically okay to continue, and then stopped after saying that she clearly couldn't. Uh, you're concerning me. How's your heart doing? Huh? Press, it's doing good. You don't look so good sure. to me. What's the matter? Talk to me. Well, I want to know why she signed up. I like, I like, I want to know what, what did she enjoy this? You know what I mean? Cause I, they're not going back. It's not like, oh, I'm coming back for a second. So I'll be back next year. Like you're not coming back. At the end of Milligan's tour. For the 20K, dude, even then, fuck that. You gotta have, it's not just for the 20K, bro. They're definitely fucking going in here for like a personal reason as well. Outside of the money, 20 grand. 20 grand to get tortured. She went to the media to speak out about how this experience left her traumatized. At multiple points in the video, there are large chunks of her tour that were cut out. She says the parts that were excluded from the final video were the worst of what happened to her. Despite Milligan's strong disapproval of McKamey's manner, some Flask other th for the sub. things she's done seem to indicate the opposite. If you enjoy torture, you might be the best military person to have ever lived. If you enjoy being tortured, oh, the government would love you. Oh, the government would love to throw you into the middle of, uh, into the middle of nowhere and fucking get kidnapped. These are just a few of the people that had a negative experience with McKamey Manor. Although I'm sure some of these incidents are reported by people who just didn't- Don't go, my crazy friend. Go a bleeding head. Just a tiny one. I was too afraid to go in, but they still tortured me by telling me to do it. Very scary and probably illegal. Manor. Bro, and the fact that, this, that it's in Tennessee, bitch. The fact that it's in Tennessee. If this shit was in, like, Maine- I'd be like, oh, they're going to, like, you know, they got the safe word. The fact that it's in Tennessee in the middle of probably butt fuck nowhere. The middle of fucking nowhere in some basement in fucking Tennessee. No. Never going. There's a petition right now. How are you? The shutdown McKamey Manor that has nearly 150,000 signatures so far. Perhaps one of the most disturbing elements about this is that Russ McKamey and his actors are doing all this pretty much for free. If anything, he's losing money by keeping the place up and running. Some have theorized he's making money selling these videos or streaming them to underground gambling pools, but- Gambling I pools? I don't think that's the case at all. I think he just genuinely enjoys watching people endure this kind of suffering. Bro, get this man and his fucking- Yo, it's, it is a cute dog. It is a cute dog. I'll say it's a cute dog. Bro, but like, it, every fuck, it's the same damn picture of him holding his dog smiling. And as far as the $20,000 prize goes, I don't think it exists. There's a reason no one has ever completed a tour before. It's because you can't complete one. 
no matter how much mental strength you have, he will always find a way to physically or mentally break you. I actually what think that's false. I, I, I don't know if it's this one, but I've seen other ones where, like, it was... I saw one video. There's a, This is not the only one that exists that does this. There's ones that offer, like, million dollars and shit. If you, if you threw a Navy SEAL that's been tortured before into this some dude from fucking tennessee is not gonna be able to to break somebody who's existed in three weeks of torture that got their rib cage ripped out and shit it's just nobody's gonna do it because it's not like it's not a it, that's not a big enough cash prize you know where you can win 20 grand family fucking feud bitch that's where we go that's where we go family feud wheel of fortune price is right you know go go on a little show mr beast a mr beast event something like that right not fucking experiencing getting my teeth ripped out for $20,000.